Dr. Brian Oswald, Josie Denman, Distinguished Professor of Forestry at Stephen F. Austin State University. Fire ecology is the, uh, learning about the role of fire as an ecological process on our landscape. Fire management is utilizing that information to better use that process to help us manage our natural resources. We are on a fire planet and North America is, is a fire continent. And fire has been a, had a role in ecosystem driven processes since the continent was formed. One of the things that uh, is hard to do is separate the role of Native American people on the landscape and their use of fire versus the natural fires that occurred through uh, lightning. The role of it is it dictated a little bit about the presence of, and absence of vegetation, which how they dealt with other resources and, and processes, and the idea of what we saw when we Euro Americans came to this continent. As an ecological process, fire is a very important component that these plants evolved with. Some of them have very strong uh, adaptations to fire, and so fire on the landscape would favor their presence and regeneration. Other ones are going to be hindered by that same fire event. If this is true whether you're talking about a forest situation in the southeastern United States, um, grasslands in the central part of Texas, and even shrublands in places as diverse as California or uh, Western Australia. The difference uh, between a prescribed fire and a, and a wildfire uh, has often been said is that a prescribed fire is where you want it, when you want it, and how you want it, and a wildfire isn't. But it's not really that simple because a wildfire is one that generally fits into a dynamic of fires occurring, usually uh, naturally ignited and under conditions that are very hazardous, or under arson type examples where people have started a fire intentionally or accidentally, but the conditions are such that the fire is not meeting any management objectives, nor is it a, a safe situation for the resources or people. Prescribed fire, on the other hand, are intentionally set, or they are naturally ignited fires by lightning that are within a prescription window to reach some specific management objective. We're, in many cases, we are seeing a change of fire seasons, times when the fires were traditionally have been occurring. Now in many cases, most of the time it is a lengthening. Uh, in some cases it's a slight shift to the start and the ending of it. As a result, the fire's role as a process is changing as well because over millennia the fires are occurring in a general window of time, parts of the season, and the vegetation has evolved under those same dynamics. What we're seeing is this change, and as a result, the plants are having to adapt to a new, uh, to use the old phrase, paradigm, but basically a new fire regime. The growing wildland urban interface and the role of people within the, our natural areas is a confounding situation with this whole growing f change of fire regimes. Uh, fragmentation of the landscape. We got people now embedded within what would be considered wild areas where fire used to have an historic role, but now we don't want them there because the buildings are in place. The humans bringing in uh, plants that become invasive species. But also the flip side, we have fire that is essentially having a negative impact on people, but also have to understand how people are interacting with this thing that they usually think is dangerous. Uh, within our, our forestry program here at SFA, we do have an emphasis on, on, on fire management and ecology. This is, opens up a wide range of employment opportunities for uh, students when they get done, whether it's working with a federal or state agency, within a regular uh, forest co uh, industry company, uh, but private entities as well, uh, not just here in East Texas, but across the United States. Fire is a natural process. It, it was here before Euro-America, probably before the land bridge over from Asia. It's part of the system. We're the ones who are different. And so we have to understand and work with fire on the landscape to better manage our natural resources.